Hello students, welcome to the installation part of Flutter and Android Studio. So here we have to start with some of the steps that we have to follow before install before we start with our main app. For that we require four things to do. So the first is to download Android Studio. After that we have to download SDK path of Flutter so that it is accessible with Android Studio. After that, we have to set the environment variables of Flutter SDK so that both of them are linked with each other means the Android Studio is linked with Flutter SDK and Flutter SDK we have to set it to environment variables and after that we will start with our Android Studio creating the first app. So to download Android Studio, we have to go to this website of Android Studio, right? And here we have to click on download Android Studio. At the bottom, you have to click on I have read the agreement and click on download. So here it will download the Android Studio. So once our Android Studio has been downloaded, we have to double click on the software, right? So it will take a bit of time. Give it the permissions for it. And we just have to click on next, 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 and next for the installation. Click on next, click on next. So here Android Studio is getting installed. You have downloaded already. Now it is getting installed over here. It will take a bit of time depending upon the system's configuration. Right, so here our Android Studio setup is completed. Okay, yeah. So you have to click on do not import settings and keep the setup fresh as new as it is. So now the next step is to download Flutter SDK path. So now we will download the SDK Flutter path. So to download SDK Flutter path, we will go to Google Chrome. Here we will write download Flutter SDK. Here we have to go to choose your development platform to get started link. Here we have to click on Windows, Desktop, and from here at the bottom, we have to click on download and install and just download this file. Here it will take again a bit of time to download the file. Okay, so here our Flutter Windows has been successfully downloaded. Now what we will do is we will extract this so that we get the actual folder which we want to work on. So again, it will take a bit of time to extract all the files over here. Okay, so after copying it to the C drive, you have to move to its bin directory, copy the address from here. In the settings, you have to search for environment variables. Go to environment variables. And in the path, we have to add this. 
at the end the bill click on okay now we click on okay now we click on okay and close all the directories and everything to confirm it, what we will do is we will open the command prompt and here we will write flutter. So if the description about flutter comes over here and we have successfully installed flutter. So here all the details related to flutter has been displayed. So it means that we are now ready to run create a first. Now we will continue with Android Studio. Uh, here we will click on next, 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 except all of them, except this and except this, click on finish. It is a part of the installation process which is still left. So this might again take a bit of time depending upon the system which we are using okay so here our components are also downloaded now we click on finish so here the setup of android studio has been opened now to start with flutter we have to install a package over here right so for that we go to plugins and in the plugins over here first we search that and click on install so once this dart is installed after that we have to install flutter click on install accept now the flutter is getting installed over here once the flutter is installed it also tells us to restart the id which we will do it restart so once our id has been restarted Here, the home page is again getting loaded. Now, here we get an option of create new Flutter project. So, we'll click on it, a new Flutter project. So, now a dialog box has been opened. Over here, we have to go to the left menu that is Flutter. Because we are creating Flutter project, so here we have to select Flutter. Now, here, Flutter SDK path. We have to select the file which we had pasted in C drive flutter and we have to select the whole folder over here and click on OK. Click on next. Now here we have to give the name of the title. So here we'll give practical one. Right? Next is the location. Where do we have to store? Currently it will store at its own location and a, de a description if you want to give over here now the next is project type so whether it is a application whether it is a plugin or somewhat here we are creating an application now the most important thing over here is the organization means the package name right so package name should be something that it is very appropriate with the name of the project as well as the organization which is building it because it is very important when we are uploading the app in either the and uh, play store or the marketplace so here we'll keep it as it is now the android languages can be selected from here so we'll select java or you can either select kotlin whatever it is for android for ios we'll stick with swift and other platforms also which is supported with flutter these are android ios linux means it supports web applications Website, it supports desktop applications as well as it supports mobile applications. So, all of these platforms are over, available over here and we click on create. So, for the first time when we create this project, we compulsory require internet for it. 
so it will because it will download all the packages online for the first time and after that you can easily access it offline without the internet also when you are developing it so it will take a bit of time depending upon the system configuration as well as the internet so that it can download the packages from the internet Okay, so the packages are being loaded now. Our app is created. Now it is loading all the packages from online for us. It will take a bit of time to load the whole project, download the dependencies and each and everything. Let's wait for it till it completes everything and we get the first screen over here. It will tell us to give some access which we need to provide. Okay, so it has downloaded each and everything and it says welcome to Flutter. We'll close this, we'll close the menu from here. Right, and here is the project structure of our whole app. It is loading, it is it will still take a bit of seconds. Okay, so here we are done. Now over here we have to switch from Android to project. So we will get all the list over here which is related to letter. So here we complete the part of letter web development, letter creation installation as well as creation of the first app. Thank you.